Hello YouTube, Infinite Match Ray community, Gandalf here. Uh, before we get on to the main content of the video to explore this game feature, uh, I just want to take a moment to say that I appreciate a lot of the positive feedback and constructive um, recommendations on helping me with PvE content. Uh, I know I seem like I've rage quitted a little bit on PvE. Um, you know, uh, it does get frustrating. Uh, when you don't have the right heroes. Um, but I will say, I will say that um, that realization allowed me to empathize a little bit better with the people who are ranting about, you know, PvP is also very much locked behind um, limited heroes and specific lineups. Um, again, I appreciate all the support that I get uh, in the community. Uh, for those who are perhaps, you know, breeding a little bit of toxicity or having, you know, not so constructive feedback, you know, I kindly ask you to, you know, uh, think about the broader community and the environment we're trying to cultivate as a whole um, and refrain from making, you know, remarks that's not helpful for anyone. So I'll leave it at that. Um, but, you know, I, I think I'll I'll push this a little bit. I'll take this another try. I did grab a, a Weasley today, a Weasley. Um, so I will be able to put the attack down, and hopefully I will be able to use a lineup that we don't see here at all. Um, I'm gonna replace Nidoroy with Anna, and hopefully my an you know the damage I do from uh, from all caster is able to make up for the lack of damage from coming from Anna. Um, I don't have the luxury of having, uh, you know, a how to do the attack down, uh, nor is my um, Nidroy sufficient right now. Um, but I do feel like um, my Allcaster do a, sorry, my, what am I saying? My Me Mechio does a, does a decent amount of damage. Um, with that out of the way, let's talk about this feature in the game. Um, I did a video a while back saying that, hey, this will be really interesting um, how they're adding, you know, the usage rate of popular heroes list. I thought this was gonna be like the tier list and get better over time. I completely overlooked it. This is where they have really implemented it is, I'm not sure if you guys noticed this already, many of you might have not have noticed it, but, if you haven't, give this a look. I feel like this has so much potential, but it's wasted. Uh, I am preparing for a tier list video for update. Looks like the tier list is still required. You will see what I mean by the end of this video. Um, for heroes that do get a lot of visibility and use, these ratings are pretty accurate. So classic arena, um, very good. A lot of the PVP content, very relevant for Bryn Hill. PvE, not so much, right? You look at a hero like Catherine. Uh, Catherine should be viewed, a lot of people have Catherine. Um, the rating is pretty accurate, seems to be strong everywhere. I will say the relative ranking for PvP is a little bit off. People have rated it quite high. All right. Um, but then you start looking at hero, and by the way, you can do this on the gallery as well. So for heroes you don't have, is for example, I don't have a Vera. For those of you who know of our Vera, will know this is a complete joke of a rating because Vera is just not used anywhere and not that great um, at the bottom of your tier list. So what's going on? Um, this is a great system, um, but like a lot of these systems we've seen these gotcha games, there is a gap. You need to think about who is allowed to raid on these, right? Um, so any player, you can, if you have the hero, you have the ability to raid it. You don't have to raid on all of them, you just need to raid on some of them. Right? And you have the ability to go back and change your rating. 
I think this is a great feature because it allows for players to, this is like the ultimate community tier list, right? Um, and I, that's why the title of this video, um, the infinite match grade, the ultimate community tier list is broken. <laughs> and I think we can fix it. Uh, first of all, um, I think one quick fix is simply indicating to the player base how many people actually voted on this. All right. That gives a sense of credibility of the information. Um, a lot of time if a hero have very low number of rating on it and you know for example in in summoner wars we we have the ability to put the thumbs up or comment about the hero and you know the heroes that are underused probably have one or two comments and rating it could have the highest rating but it's just you know the three people that use it uses it um, and they're very disconnected from the rest of the community um, here i think just by simply adding the number of player voted is already an improvement now I, I know people might have a mixed feeling about the next suggestion I have is really you should only be allowed to vote on these heroes if you have fully built it out for example we should put some requirements on who can actually vote so first I think you should at least if you want to vote on a hero would it be fair to ask that they have at least full exclusive or have least leveled it to 150 and used it right the second thing i would say is maybe when you want to rate on a particular piece of the content you at least have to make some progress in that content so for example you have to finish campaign to vote on campaign or finish tower mark to vote on tower mark so you can give a more realistic feedback like this is a great system right um it means content creators if this is done right if this is done right I don't actually have to spend like hours and hours getting a tier list together and then face the 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 portion of the community that that love to critique um and say you know this hero should be one tier higher or one tier lower i mean end of the day tier list is super subjective um, but if we can get a credible group of people together uh, to vote on these things who actually have the experience and and the knowledge to vote on these things, I feel like we can have a really great community tier list. So um, hopefully, you know, this works out. I'm gonna write it, write it in the suggestion log. I'm gonna put the link to the suggestion log on the main Discord so you guys can vote, upvote these suggestions. I feel like this is a wonderful feature. Um, I think a lot of games should adopt this. This is super helpful in game tier list. People don't have to go into YouTube and look for it as much. I appreciate all the views I get from the tier lists. This is very helpful to have this level of detail, um, especially if it's only if it's a little bit more credible. Um, we don't absolutely have to say that, hey, you need the strongest hero in the game. I mean, I feel like space is a hero a lot of people have. The rating might be a little bit inflated yeah like space that, that i mean end of the day i think maybe i retract my statement i just said i think there's still value for content creators to create tier lists um we provide our own perspective and can comment on on the heroes quite well i think from our much longer experience with the game and being able to test some of the newer heroes out but um, I feel like, you know, a lot of the hero that people use very frequently and have used it in different parts of the game, I feel like the community tier list definitely has a lot of value too. I just, I just wish it was implemented slightly better. Um, and perhaps, you know, it means less of a need for, for content creators to go out there and, and call things out. Really, if we think about it from a tier list perspective, it's relatively accurate um, in the grand scheme of things, right? Your your um, your limited heroes are probably your strongest. Then your mythic and elemental city heroes are really strong in the next tier group uh, for whatever purpose they're trying to serve. And then you got you know a mixed bag of legendaries um, 
that you know some are very good while others might be a little bit underutilized or not so relevant anymore so that's kind of how things are at um i wish they can also include the comments but i feel like you know overall um our world chat system is if you ask people in chat and someone who's you know level 80 plus is responding you can probably um you can probably help them out a little bit chelsea is good if you manage to have to get her but but i wouldn't recommend um burning summons over her there we go right um, if you're a seasoned player help people out um, I do want to breed positivity into this community we do have a lot of new players joining the game I will say the the passing of the torch probably is happening we have a lot of the old season players um, retiring for those of you who are aware um, you know, I'm in one's wish right now. Uh, um, one, one. I mean, just temporarily. Um, but you can see that you know, one's hope and Mystic has made the final merge there. Um, we're back to I think three very balanced uh, factions now at the top of the game between um, the Bulls, the the Bushidos, and and us. Um, We'll see how things play out over the next few months, but I do know there's a lot of new players um, coming into the game, and we want to make sure we have a positive environment. Um, I appreciate every single one of you. Um, I'll catch you next time. Gandalf out.